Hey everyone, Dr. O'Neill here. In this video, I want to cover the muscle terms that describe shapes and give you key examples of each one. Let's get our learn on. The first is deltoid. Deltoid means triangle. The deltoid muscle is obviously the best example of a triangle shaped muscle. Deltoid means triangle. Trapezius is describing a trapezoid or kite like shape. The trapezius muscle of your back is the key example. Rhomboid means parallelogram, so your rhomboid major and rhomboid minor muscles would be the key examples there. Teres means round and long. I think of it kind of like a cigar shape. The key examples would be the teres major and the teres minor. The term pyramidal means pyramid shaped, so the pyramidalis muscle in the low, low abdomen is a key example there. The term piriformis means pear-shaped. It's actually quite similar to a pyramid-shaped muscle, but has more rounded edges. So the piriformis muscle, which is one of the rotators of your hip, would be the key example there. That's also a very clinically significant muscle because of a common condition called piriformis syndrome that can affect the sciatic nerve. The term orbicularis means circle, so a circular or sphincter muscle is an orbicularis muscle. The orbicularis oculi is the circular muscle that surrounds each eye, and the orbicularis oris is the circular muscle that surrounds your mouth. The term platysma means flat plate. The platysma muscle, which I can tense up here, in the front of your neck is a real flat, thin muscle, and that's where the name comes from. Serratus means serrated. Think like a knife, the serrated edges of a knife. The serratus anterior that helps control and stabilize your scapula would be the key example there. Pectinate means comb-like. So the pectineus muscle of your groin that's one of your hip adductors, would be the key example there. The term splenius means bandage. So the key example there would be splenius capitis muscle. So it's a bandage-shaped muscle that kind of wraps around the back of your head and neck. Capitis meaning head. Learning complex topics is hard. That's why they're called complex topics. But I hope this video showed you that I can help you that I can lead you down the right path, that we can tackle this topic together, one video at a time, one step at a time, one synapse at a time, until you grow gray matter. 